Shameless Plug Studios. It's Salty Language with Brian and Tony. Why, hello there, Brian. Why, hello there. Better put my phone on silent. Yeah, you should. I do want to say, as we open up this podcast, today is March 30th. Yep. Happy National Cleavage Day, Brian. That's right. Wait, hold on. What? You, one simply cannot just walk into salty language. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> to get some face scratching out of the way. Beard crabs? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, reusing the comb and... Uh, yeah, these things happen. <laughs> I didn't realize they would spread. <laughs> you might have to borrow your comb. <laughs> Not Please. that comb. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you know what? Keep it. <laughs> What's this? My pubis comb. <laughs> no. The I just one that... your fan. Nice job. That stupid you fan face. A... <laughs> now how are we supposed to stay cool when summer hits? That's true. We're doomed. Yep. That's right. I got my hoodie on, so I'm a criminal. It's all no, right. You don't have any Skittles. We're good. <laughs> That's true. I got beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fit that, right in. That should be more dangerous. Someone with a hoodie and a beer. You would think. Yeah. But you're white. So That's right. Apparently you're That's right. Damn it. Yeah. I'm a non threatening European. <laughs> Damn Euro trash. Exactly. Uh, what episode <laughs> is this? 36? 30. You know, I'm honestly losing count. I know. <laughs> They're all blurring. Yeah. Into the 30s. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're, we're almost at the top of our, uh, our hill here. Yeah. Then we become middle aged. It's all downhill from there. When does our podcast have a, uh, Retirement Midlife party? Christmas. Oh. Christmas. Uh, it's like Christmas, but, but worse. In December, uh, around episode 45 or so. Oh, okay. Uh. Merry Christmas. <laughs> no, I don't think we have to worry about that. Ooh, we got followed by oh, somebody. Oh, we sure did, Brian. Shout out to Ear Candy Network. Ear, no, it's Ear Candy New York. That's what I said. Oh, okay. <laughs> Now we got to get Ear Candy LA to follow us. You're right. We have both coasts. Yeah. Locked down. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. yeah. Good enough. Um, yeah. So what's your what's what's doing for with, with what? yous? Um. Yeah. Not a lot. Me neither. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right then. Yeah. <laughs> We're on fire, Brian. Did you see the uh, the announcement the other day of uh, Anchorman Two? I did. Got Ron Burgundy with his jazz flute. Oh, that was great, wasn't it? That was terrific. You know, when I heard him announce it finally, because you know it's it's been rumored for a while that they've kind of had it ready to go. They just couldn't get things lined up. And I was like, you know, the only problem I have with it is that movie is such. I hold it in such high regard as far as comedies go. Yes. It's going to be really like people are going to walk into Anchorman 2 with expectations. Oh, yeah. With the first one, you were like, what the fuck is this? Well, it's, well, it's Will Ferrell, probably, you know. And it was hilarious. And it was hilarious. And yeah, yeah it's going to be tough to get caught kind of out of nowhere by a sequel. I think they'll do a good job. They better. Will Ferrell's fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's going to be so. tough to top the Afternoon Delight thing, stuff like well, that. Well, that's true. Yeah. You know. Dude, when he told Conan. It looked like uh, someone put a red fright wig on a skeleton mask and <laughs> yeah. threw it out of a helicopter. <laughs> that was great. And accurate. And accurate. And accurate. That hurts. Well, it comes from the heart. <laughs> it <was great. laughs> it's like, oh, Ron Burgundy. <laughs> the best part is you know that was on the prompter. Yes. Because yeah. he doesn't really do anything without the prompter. <laughs> or he only reads what's on the prompter. It made me want to watch Anchorman again. I don't know why I don't own that movie. I do now. You should, I as know. you should. As and I, I, should. I need to get it on stunning Blu-ray. Because <laughs> why not? Yeah. Is it on Blu-ray? It better goddamn well I be. I just, you know how it is, some movies. If not, made. I'm taking a plane to L.A. and punching people in the face. Wow. That seems harsh, but I can get behind that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll put it on Kickstarter. <laughs> 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 if you donate this money, I'll kick them in the balls. Yay! You hey, while this we're, money, you can come with me. While we're there, we'll just lock down the West Coast. Oh, beauty. Yeah. We don't even have to worry about anybody else. We'll just Wait. go lock it down ourselves. All right, if we're going, if we're both going to West Coast, we need like Mad Max vehicles, and we'll just have California Love playing the whole time, like in the video. Yes. All right, Kickstarter mm-hmm. that some bitch. Let's All go. Right, let's do it. <laughs> That's going to be one long. Well, with iPods, we'll be fine. Yeah, and we got to get Tupac off whatever Caribbean island he's on. Oh to right. Join us. Yes. Or Please. if not, we dig him up. <laughs> Either way, mm-hmm. <laughs> I figure he's still alive with the amount of material he keeps putting out. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He's putting out quite a bit. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> he's putting out as many tapes as, like, Little Wayne's putting out mixtapes. Tapes. <laughs> well, they call them mixtapes. Yeah, all right. Fair know, enough. Diss tracks. Come on. <laughs> 
Don't you know, like, hip-hop still uses the, you know, old-school phraseology. Old-school phrasing, yeah. yeah. Fair people, enough. People still call that shit albums. Yeah, you got a point. Even though, well, I can't say nobody buy albums because it's not true. Right. And you walk through uh, various stores and they do have some vinyl now. Y- you know, and I would... Just weird as hell. Yeah, I would have a record, because I had some, you know, when we moved, I had a stack of, like, records I found, although they're right. probably ruined for being in that, you know, kiln of an attic. <laughs> yeah. They, well, they were just one big record. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But record players are fucking expensive. Yeah. You know why? Because they're... Because hipsters want yeah, them. Yeah, say hipster turd nugget douchebags yeah. want them. Yeah. Just buy a turntable. And a microphone? Well, you need two turntables. Uh, I got a DJ Hero turntable. Does that work? Probably not. You're probably um, Well, you could ruin a record on one, I'm sure. I'm sure you could. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds great. This is me. Look at me. I'm a regular <clears throat> DJ scribble over here. So they need what? to, if they're going to like be re-releasing the vinyl and shit, it's like, they, did they, do they digitally master them before it goes on the vinyl? Does that matter? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, is it like releasing something that's filmed with today's technology on VHS? Hmm. Good point. Or beta? technically because you, know, you got to really back it up for i, I kind of would like to see a like hd like cut of a movie put mm-hmm. on a vcr tape see what it like, looks like avatar on i wouldn't even do that to a vcr tape <laughs> i'm just That's meaning cruel for, and unusual. for the look of it though <laughs> okay because you know i mean it's all right you know good point that's all i was getting at. i guess the, when you want to go for wear the old that's... school 3d glasses <laughs> <laughs> blue and red yeah this is amazing it's like <laughs> My new issue of uh, Spider-Man came with them. <laughs> yeah, this is a gr- I got mine out of a newspaper for the Super Bowl. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> because McDonald's has a 3D Big Mac commercial. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Damn you, McDonald's here, the 3D Big Mac commercial. Mm, now my heart commercial. disease is 3D. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Sure is. Hate it when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor's like, the only way I can look at your... Uh, your cholesterol results is with these and puts on the fucking 3D goggles. Like, oh, that God, doesn't Doc, seem... are you saying my cholesterol's in 3D? I sure am, Marty. Let's get to the... <laughs> <laughs> nice. You know, but that was just a great setup for a Doc Brown. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need stents. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. They just go to the future and get, get their shit right and then come back. Right. Oh, you know what? Speaking of time travel... Have you heard about Looper? It's a movie coming out this year? No. It's apparently got Bruce Willis and the kid from Third Rock who's in everything now. Oh, yeah. Joseph uh, Gordon-Levitt? Yeah, I am. Yeah. I was going to say French Stewart, but it just wasn't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great, though. Yeah. No, it's a, a movie where time travel happens, right? Mm-hmm. But they can only send people back. Right. And it's illegal. Check. Mm-hmm. So what the mob does is they send people back in time to get killed So because it's easier to hide the body. Oh, that's hilarious. Right? Yeah. So... Apparently, the, the twist. What? That twist? <laughs> like M. Night Shyamalan, Lama, Lama, yes. Ram, Lama, Ding Dong? Gordon, you know, G. Gordon Levitt or yeah. whatever. J. G. H. <laughs> he, L. He's the guy in the past that kills the people. Right. So they sent but, him in the past and then they just send yeah, him bodies, basically? Yeah, okay. just send him people to kill. I like it. Is that his future self gets sent back for him to kill. Are That's you John Connor? <laughs> ah, it sounds interesting. I've always liked time travel movies. See, what though. they should have done was his future self should be Schwarzenegger. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. Oh, you what? John Connor. Like, God damn it, not again. <laughs> All right, we're making that movie. Or he just shows up. Get to the chopper! <laughs> no, no, Arnold, wrong movie. Oh. <laughs> Line. <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> no, wrong movie. Oh. Cut. <laughs> it's not a tumor. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Arnold says his uh, catch line, take 532, <laughs> clack. <laughs> uh, Turbo man. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, oh, Turbo man. man. <laughs> but, Jamie, you wanted the Turbo man. <laughs> God. Turbo man knows my name. I'm going to grow up and want Queen Amidala and kill all the Jedi. But for now, you want the Turbo Man? <laughs> God, was that little? Yep. It's uh, Hayden Christensen. Oh, poor kid. Look, what, let's see what that movie did to him. Turn him into an emotional. Or no, not wretch. Hayden Christensen. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. It's it's it. But it's the kid that's the little bitch in the episode one. Oh, it's it's Pod Racer. Yeah. whatever the hell it was, Sand mm-hmm. Racer. Yeah, I built C three PO. Though it makes no sense. Oh, I thought you were going to say the city on rock and roll. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, God. <laughs> all, all it makes me think of is... Shooting yourself? A parody song. Oh. <laughs> titled, My Dick's All Shitty. <laughs> From your asshole. Oh, my. Oh, my. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. I did not know we had gone into karaoke my time. My all shitty. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, boy. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah. very catchy, though. I should probably cut that whole segment out. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> all right. <laughs> like I said before, we edit nothing. It's warts and all for everyone. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of growth is this? Oh, it was a Cheeto. Uh, <laughs> I could go for some Cheetos. I haven't had a Cheeto in a long-ass time. Well, let's stop doing this and go get some. <laughs> you know what? I was looking for the other day and cannot fucking find it. It really pissed me off. Your dick? Oh, oh no! I walked into that <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's what she said. It was like the old high five in Jackass Three. <laughs> yeah, <yep. laughs> I was sitting here waiting for the ball to hit the rim so I could dunk it too. I mean, I'm over here crouching, uh, looking up. You remember the tin cans of Planters cheese balls? Yes. Did oh, the still... ones like the dollar stores used to have and stuff for yeah, like a yeah, buck. Yeah, yeah. they still have those. I have no idea. I, haven't, I was looking because I just suddenly I was like. That rattle, <laughs> yeah. You know, there's like two cheese. Oh, it was a horrible sound though. Because I meant you were almost out. But that's all I wanted was fucking cheese balls. Oh, I thought you meant the can. That too. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> delicious, <laughs> <you old>. goat. <laughs> I'm goat boy. I can't do goat boy. I'll try. No, I can't. That's either. a that's a brewer bit. I'll leave it to him. Yeah, <clears throat> I agree. I agree. <laughs> Mm. So uh, I saw earlier on the face page that uh, you were not one of the oh, fuck me. crazy motherfuckers uh, getting in on the uh, Mega Millions. No, I you know we've played before. It's like eh. clearly you haven't won. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, well, either that or you hide it really well. Yeah. Like even worrying Fine. about money, Am I wearing everyone? gold shoes <laughs> or sitting in a diamond chair. Well, if you had the diamond chair, that'd be because it was mine. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah, I am at the shame. And if anyone's shoes. sitting in a diamond chair. It's going to be Diamond Dave. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Whoa. Because, listen, if I had that kind of money, I could probably get him to sit here and do an intro for us every week. <laughs> you, you got like 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's out touring right now. Oh, that's right. It's going to take probably 60. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, I'll buy, I'll buy out the bar that you're playing. <laughs> I kid. It's Van Halen. They're going to play bigger than a oh, bar. Oh, geez. Yeah, because, you know. They'll play a club at least. Hayseeds and acid wash jeans. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Camaro hair. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, man. He doesn't yeah. have Camaro hair anymore. No, no. no. <laughs> He's got like T top hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good, in other words. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. <laughs> but how great would it be, though, to have Dive and Dave leading us in? That would be great. Right? Yeah, I agree. <sighs> like, have him just sing a little something. And then do the intro for us. That'd be great. It'd be Ice Cream Man every week. <laughs> yes, I, yeah, I wouldn't care. I'm down. I don't want to. You know, I'm I'm okay with his version of Ice Cream Heck Man. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be terrific. We'd have to put the audio or the video up as well. Cause well, you gotta. <laughs> it's a terrible, terrible video. It is, but you know, him dressed up like a good humor man, kind of. Oh, jeez. Uh, especially with the gloves on. And yeah, the yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeez, it is that. Diamond Dave. Yeah. No, yeah. but no, I did not. I'm not partaking in the astronomically giant jackpot. Of, right. You know. I am, however, going to be that asshole that's immediately going to go, oh, those are my numbers. Fair enough. Nah, I'm not really. <laughs> yeah, right. Whatever. Yeah, I, I mean, I, it's a giant. I mean, even on the way over, Gene's like, hey, you should be. I'm like, nah. Yeah, there's, there's going to be a line. Nah, I'm not doing yeah. squat. <laughs> so I'm especially not going to stand in line for many no. millions, too. I mean, when I was, you know. Because, again, your odds of winning are so minute. I think your odds of becoming president are better. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And I'm not old enough to be president yeah. yet, so that's technically not true. Plus, if they listen to these recordings, oh, that, that shouldn't bad. be happening. Fuck, they look at any <laughs> social media, anything I've ever posted. Yeah, exactly. Well, they'll probably just be like, you posted naked drawings. <laughs> How dares you? <laughs> you don't respect the sanctity of marriage. <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Winner. <laughs> Get this boy a cupid out. You don't see hoodies as threatening. Especially when paired with Skittles and a bottle of tea. Well, a bottle of tea could be threatening. It could be. I mm. mean, especially if it's not plastic. Yeah. Like yeah. those Arizona bottles or those other companies yeah, that actually put yeah. them in the glass bottles. A little green. Hell, even Snapple. 
A Snapple bottle upside the head still not going to feel very good. You can carve that lid into a shiv. Like, I fucked you up with the best stuff on earth, bitch. <laughs> that would mm. be great. <laughs> and then just pour Skittles over him and walk away. Then Snapple lady comes in, you got fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. huh, she's still working. That's good. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Watch out for that. Yeah, I always nothing but professional sounds. I always here. end up kicking a mic stand like at least eight or nine times when we're yeah. doing this. Uh, it's because you keep twirling it around. That's true. What the you know, Steven Tyler fucking <laughs> got uh, all the bandanas scarves and scarves and shit on all it. Over it. Yeah. I totally thought about that like the first time we we recorded how funny it would be if I could have gotten some extra guitar picks and had them down the <laughs> <laughs> put it on video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, just have the scarves on it and the fucking picks on the side. If we did, you know, because I know we did it once, but if we do the salty language pregame, <laughs> yeah, or dresses like eighties rock, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking back to back, flip the guitars, yeah. oh yeah, oh shit. Uh, well, we'll have to have a fan on too, because our hair's got to better be... get some wigs. Then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I actually think we should be eighties oh. rockers now. Oh, okay. Hey, we just grow our shit out. <laughs> All straggly and thin <laughs> everywhere. Uh, perfect. <laughs> you know, it'll be nice and long on one side, but it'll be kind of shorter on the other because you have to comb oh, it over. Of course, you got to. <laughs> you got to be careful of the wind so you don't have the, oh, what movie is that? The, it's one of the ones that Spade and Farley are in where the wind kicks up and his hair like lifts off his head. Um, let's see. How many they were in like eight like, movies? Yeah. Ago? I'm going to go Black Sheep. It, it was either Black Sheep or Tommy Boy. It was one of the two. I can't remember which one. I'm going to go Black Sheep because that was my favorite moment working in ghetto video store that I worked in. <laughs> when, time, when Chris Farley just screams, kill Whitey. Yeah. I just hear this guy start chuckling. <laughs> yep. Oh, ghetto family video. Oh, that was back when we could still play PG-13 movies. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, it tells you kids these days. <laughs> that was one of my favorite moments from that place. Yep, yep. That and putting in U2's uh, Rattle and Hum with, uh, I don't remember what the hell Bono said, but he's like, you know, fuck do whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just hear, oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Some random woman. <laughs> Dude, that's, oh, geez. The, the moment I had like that was uh, the first time somebody had Big on, because, you know, there's that scene where, uh, what's his name, his friend or whatever, oh, yeah. does like the two minutes of obscenities. Yeah. And there was a woman in the store going, that's not appropriate. Like from the back <laughs> of the store. Inappropriate, inappropriate. And I was just like, really, lady? I just wanted to yell out, fuck you. But that would have probably got me fired. That's fine. Unless I killed her and hid the body Perfect. backwards in time. Ooh. And then had Arnold come back and wait. No, that's, no, no we're getting yeah. too crazy. You're right. Yeah. All right. Well, should we move move it along? Sure. Into the geek news. Hey, that's what we like to open with. You're right. Geek news. First geek news is this Sunday is the return of uh, hmm? uh, um, Game of Thrones. Uh, see, I'm way behind, like, as I never watched it. Yeah, I know. Oh. But I, here it's a good show. I, however, have the fancy free HBO. <laughs> I'll be playing Skyrim, so I'll have my own Game of Thrones. Yeah, going fair out. enough. Yeah. Just remember, winter's coming. Actually, war is coming. Hmm. And winter, probably about the same time. But anyways. Like war, like, huh, what is it good for? Absolutely, absolutely nothing. <laughs> yes. That war? Absolutely. Awesome. As long as That's the, sweet. As long as the thing didn't the mean to say. The kingdom's going to be jamming. <laughs> just as long as it didn't mean to say warrant is coming. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> then no one will be there. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Although, oddly enough, I saw them I'll play be there. once. At like some sort of Monsters of Rock thing, where it was like you know eight bands. Yeah, they fucking tore it up. Well, that's what they'll do. I was like, huh, weren't actually was really good. <laughs> Listen, who knew? As long as they lead with, um, they did play Cherry Pie. That's all I care yeah. about. I'm, I'll fucking get my lighter out and sing along. Yeah, they did play Cherry Pie. That's my that's my jam that's right your there. Jam. <laughs> that's my jam, son. <laughs> Swinging. Um, did you see this? This is the new logo for the Z Man O Steel movie. The the fancy new Superman's reboot. Hmm, I have not seen that yet. Yeah, so the suit picture. Does that, that say, does that say movie shield is manly? Yeah, it does. Comma steely. Yeah. Ugh. It's not It's not Danly, comma steely at least. Sorry, That's a pretty fucking enough. obscure reference. I don't think a lot of people are going to get that. Probably not. It's That's all right, all right though. Shh, we'll move on. They can Google shit. Well, did you see like the picture? You saw that picture, right, of the new costume? Didn't we talk? Oh, let me yeah, mic. get on the mic. Did, didn't we talk about that a yeah. ways? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, you know, so they've got that, and then you know, the logo that they're showing kind of goes with it. It's a darker, richer 
uh, red and everything. Right. I'm not surprised. I was kind of. Is that battle damage in the middle, or is that just like a little? There's there's some like graphic-y lines on it, which I'm not sure about. Hmm. I don't think Superman needs that touch, but you know. So when he squeezes legs together and his chest flips. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, his pecs pop like the rock in the journey. <laughs> fucking. Ugh. And by right. journey, I don't mean you know the '80s band. I mean. Don't stop believing. Quiet you. <laughs> hey, I didn't start singing. It's true. Hey, oddly enough, that's the yeah. only song you didn't start singing. Well, yeah, I let that one lie. Well, you didn't sing Cherry Pie either. Because I'm I, the only one that did a lyrical reference. Due to their, uh, you know, Asian front, I have to go. Don't stop breathing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Just saying. <laughs> it's gonna be so great when he dies. Anyways, um, <laughs> better start breathing. <laughs> so, um, Look, I there's stink. R- there's rumors that. Uh, <clears throat> that a PlayStation 4 is going to be out next year. Oh, my. That means Xbox is around the corner, too. What's weird about that is when Sony released the PlayStation 3, they said that the only reason they were releasing the PlayStation 3 mm-hmm. was because consumers were like, how do you not have another system out? Because they said that it, when they released the 2, that it still had a couple more years left right, on well, it. Pe- people are still putting games yeah. off work for Well, and time. they said that, that graphically, studios didn't really... Like, God of War is the only one that really pushed the engine of the machine. Yeah. And they were like, people really never pushed it. And, you know, but then Xbox 360 came out, so they, you know, to keep up with the Joneses... Right. Here's the PS3. So it's like, well, why do you want to be the first one out this time then? Because now it's going to look like your PlayStation 3 was built for like two years. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's longer than that, but you know. I know what you're saying. I know there's always that race to be the first one out, but the first one out generally. Just buggy as shit. Yep. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Xbox has won the race. Oh, yeah. Because they were out first and longest. And they still seem to be dominating from what I can Do you know tell. why they do, though? It's Xbox Live. It's really not the system. Yeah, Xbox Live rules. Because it's not like the system's any better than a PS3. It's really yeah. not. You know, graphically it isn't. You know, all the statistics on it are not better than a PS3 because right. PS3 came out second. You yeah. Know? And, but when it comes to the network, I mean, eh, Xbox, Xbox Live is pretty Live. good network, yeah. You, you know what's bad is I, I keep Michael Jackson's kicking, one record. Good point. Ah. I keep kicking around the idea of, like, do, 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 becoming a PC do, gamer do, 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 just because you can upgrade the shit you need to and not buy a whole fucking system. Yeah, there's that. You know? Yeah. Well, eventually you do, but... But you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, oh, graphics need upgrade. Ka-chunk, ka-chunk, new yeah. graphics card. Good to go. The only problem is that a lot of them, you know, t- uh, the graphics cards are fucking yeah, exactly, expensive. Exactly. But yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's like, but it, I like the convenience of having a console. There's that. You know? Mm-hmm. So. Well, it's because you make sweet, sweet love to it. Yeah, Dave. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, this is some real Xbox Live. Oh, show. After dark. That's right. <laughs> ah. All right, that's all I had for you. Xbox games. Live After Dark. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a terrible show. <laughs> Hosted by some fucking creep in his smoking jacket. Yes. You know, uh, open to show off his tufts of, oh, of uh, course, chest hair. Gold and, chain. Oh, duh. He's got a European Whoa, accent. Whoa, only one? Um, fair Do you enough. know what? It's going to be similar. All the rest are lost in the chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be similar to that character Walking Dead on Saturday Night Live. Yes. <laughs> the one where the, the women uh, always forget the glove or whatever. Oh, God. What was it? I the, can't remember uh, it. Fuck. Where he always wants to serve them champagne. Yeah, champagne. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Don't leave. He's kissing the cameraman's hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, I got to look it up because I can't remember. The best part is, it's almost, is the cameraman's hand is always manly. Yeah, and he's supposed to be talking. And to it's me. painted nails usually. Yeah. Oh, it's terrific. Yep, <laughs> it's the something, the something. The fuck. Oh, damn it! I know. I got it. It's so horrible that we can't remember that though. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it. You'll be like, oh yeah. Well, it's a word that has to do with um, that type. The of The continental. There it is. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I was wrong. The it's actually the name of a Lincoln. But <laughs> uh, oh, that's awesome. That was great. So here we go. Uh, Time for news, 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 news. Hmm. Use because you news, you lose. I wish we had a dramatic musical thing like MTV News. Bum bum bum. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> news. Oh, God. Just people terrified, running around like Godzilla's coming. <laughs> news. Dude, but it's a guy in a big foam. It just says news. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get this filmed because that do. would be fucking great. <laughs> And you know what? It, given the state of like these news networks now, 
That's perfect, it's not that isn't far it? off. Really yeah. Good. I'm not saying you should be terrified of the news, those, but you should be terrified of the news network. One of the random Detroit stations we have, yeah. their promo for their like commercial for their news was we don't try to scare you. <laughs> <laughs> Basically is what he said. A kinder, gentler news. <laughs> yeah, like we're not about the fear. It's like, hey, you're all art. Yeah, you are. Fear fear drives the dollar, man. That's why it's, you know, what in your house could kill your toddler? Tune in at five. <laughs> yeah, and it's like noon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Meanwhile, your toddler's digging around. Rapist the thing. in your neighborhood? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Damn news teases. <laughs> rapist in your neighborhood. Police say they found a serial rapist in the neighborhood of whatever you live in. Find out tonight at 11. <laughs> exactly. Like, it, it's 2 o'clock. But, Can't you tell but me now? I want to know now. Like, we live in the Twitter age. How come I have to wait nine hours? <laughs> I don't. Oh, that's right. I don't. Yeah. I've exactly. got high-speed internet. <laughs> Fuck you. The inter- internet's win again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Speaking of things that win. Winning. There was a story on Huffington Post about a bee ball. Honeybee's defense against wasp predators. The biggest. (laughs) Oh. Dude, there was a wasp predator attacking this group of bees. They fucking form a ball around it. Cook it. And cook the thing. I've seen this video. Not this video, but I've seen something like this before. All right. All I have to say is if bees have figured out how to form Voltron, we're fucked. That's true. (laughs) They're like, oh, I see. Take Take away our honey. Kill our numbers. It's on. It's on, bitches. Mm-hmm. Next thing, you're just going to see giant fucking balls of bees just rolling down the street, killing people. It's going to look like, like Katamari. The... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to look like the droids from Cl- the, oh, the prequels. Nah, I like mine better. It's going to look like beautiful Katamari. I'm little, just fucking rolling. As long as there's a little prince behind it pushing <laughs> yeah. it, I'm in. <laughs> no, no, they, they're they self-sufficient, man. They, oh. they roll themselves. All right, well, can I run behind it going da-da-da-da-da-da? Yeah, it's fine. Da, 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 I'm going to be running da, from it. Da, oh, God! <laughs> they're in my hair oh, that's all i want is a sound clip actually of homer simpson because the one part where he gets attacked by bees and he keeps he says something like they're in my hair they're in my hair <laughs> what about nick cage from wicker man oh, oh, the bees! all right fine we'll just have a loop of various perfect bee references excellent man and, they, and it has to, there has to be at least one person dressed up as king of the cosmos and I don't care if he gets stunned to death. But <laughs> Actually, I prefer it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Ooh, we'll find somebody with a bee allergy. Ooh, perfect. Yeah, that way they blow it up, too. Like, here, just put on this silly outfit, yep. pretend you're all crazy and regal, and go out there. Why? Oh, no reason. Here we go. So the one, the bees get around him, right? And uh-huh. they start to get the heat going. And then one of them stings him, and then he comes out like a puff pastry. Ooh, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Well, probably not so much delicious. Mmm, tastes like he choked to death. But the scientists are saying that the bees have basically evolved to learn this technique. I guess it makes sense. I don't like it, man. It's like what their their body I'll temperature can take higher levels in the wasp. Yeah, and yeah, uh, and you know it's funny because seriously, <laughs> if we were doing a sound drop, uh, that would be a perfect spot for the Nicolas Cage uh, Wicker Man one. Yeah. <laughs> uh! <laughs> yeah. All right. Because you know that's what the wasp was saying. Yeah, you got that right. Dude, that would actually be funny. Take the picture and Photoshop it up to where it's like, in, meanwhile, inside the ball of bees. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I want the guy from the old Super Friend cartoon. To, meanwhile, in the... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, you know... Yeah. Someone needs to get me unlimited resources so that I can do this, and I'm not talking about a Magic the Gathering card. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> I, I would just like to know how the fuck the bees figured that out. Trial and error, duh. You know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, what what hive had the idea? Like, let's go rape this fucker. A fucking smart one. And then they're, they all <laughs> they all stop raping, and there's a dead wasp. We're yeah. Like, huh. Let's pass this on to everybody. And now. then they all had beers. Like, <laughs> Victory. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Adrian, I did it. All the bees have a little blue Braveheart face paint on. Ooh, I like it. Yeah. Are they wearing kilts? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Eh, kilts might get Let warm. Let the stinger dangle out a little. <laughs> yeah. That's gross. <laughs> Moving on. Scottish bees. Speaking of uh, gross things, Shelley Lynn claims McDonald's low wages played role in her turning to prostitution. I'm thinking her being a hoa. Hoa. Like in the cat. <laughs> exactly. Dickery, dickery, dick. Shelley Lynn oh. loved the cat. <laughs> oh. Shelly Lynn, a former prostitute and employee of the Las Vegas Chicken Ranch brothel, has claimed in a federal court complaint that McDonald's played a role in her becoming a sex worker. Lynn is suing McDonald's along with her ex-husband and his company, Ivernia, which owned the local McDonald's franchise where Lynn was employed as a cashier 20 years ago. 
20 years ago and she's saying that? Oh. Hoover, Hanley emotionally and psychologically coerced Lynn into prostitution in part because McDonald's paid her minimum wage, offered a poor health care plan and no benefits and had no system for filing grievances against employees who abused their power. It's McDonald's. What do you expect, dummy? It's McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, if you don't I mean, like it, quit. Was Ronald in there sticking his clown shoe in her ass? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> For money, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, I got your Happy Meal. Oh, slow down. Smile, Shelly. Yeah. Bunk. <laughs> or, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hamburgers in there. Robble, 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 robble. <laughs> The real, the real, you know, straw in the camel's back was Grimace. No, no. It was Mayor McCheese saying, I'll let you wear the sash if you blow me. <laughs> I thought it was the Fry Guys. <laughs> Suck my fries. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Fry Guys. No, they're just freaky, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah you know, there's triple teams going on. Yeah, yeah it's a mess. Yeah. Basically, it looks like a game of Cubert with a prostitute involved. <laughs> yep. Well, and lots of Cuberts. Yeah, lots of Cuberts. Yeah. Or whatever that thing and, was called. And Fry Guy Jizz. <laughs> just ranch dipping sauce. A.K.A. secret sauce. <laughs> right, ranch dipping sauce, <laughs> yes. yeah. Secret sauce. Oh. oh, God. We're out of secret sauce. Milk a fry guy. <laughs> <laughs> They're like fucking chained up in the back. Yeah. <laughs> We're out of gloves. God damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Give me a napkin. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Do we have any wet naps or hair nets? <laughs> uh <clears throat> McDonald's did not return calls for comments, apparently. Because they don't care. <laughs> yeah. Like, whatever. They claim that McDonald's failed to supervise. We've got the largest franchise in the world to run. <laughs> McDonald's official response was, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, whore. And not for money. Go suck a dick for a 20 and get out of my face. <laughs> they offered her unlimited playland time. <laughs> yeah. After it's been cleaned from well, of her course. viruses. Uh, they're saying that McDonald's failed to properly supervise and train her as a direct result of which she used, or the, I'm sorry, train Hanley, the, her ex-husband as a direct result, which Hanley used his position as an employer and conspired with his corporation, Ivernia to coerce and bribe two of Ivernia's employees to make false statements against Lynn during dissolution and to suppress relevant evidence he had disclosed about himself. Uh, apparently he also that Hanley also engaged in pimping operations out of McDonald's franchises he owned. <laughs> Naturally. Yeah, you want to supersize it? <laughs> like, hey, you want a hot apple pie? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can hook you up. It's a little scabby, but... <laughs> <laughs> Careful, it's hot. A scabby. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, she's a dummy. She's just looking to get rich quick. Oh, uh, <laughs> That's what I. That's what I say. All right, Lynn sued Mac McDonald's for lost wages as well as a number of damages, according to the consumerists. You know, for like vaginal and ass tears. Yes, lost wages. A quarter and nickel. Well, no, they 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 forced her to work when she could have been out turning tricks. Oh uh, well, okay, I can lost see wages. I see what you're yeah. saying. Give her a bag of blow; she'll be fine. <laughs> according to the career and workplace review site Glassdoor, the average hourly pay for McDonald's crew members is seven sixty four an hour or fifteen grand a year. Ooh, ballin'. In comparison, Taco Bell paid an average of seven eighty three an hour, and Wendy's seven sixty six per hour, and Burger King eight dollars. Have it your way. Fuck yeah, go See with that, that creepy king. You know, nope. if you're gonna be a prostitute, that's where I'm working. Because a, you got a, already got a pimp there. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the king's a pimp. Look at him. He's, he's got the cloak. Look at that bling too. He's yeah. rolling. You know. And that right. And second of all, you know, they pay you eight dollars an hour. Plus, I mean, heavy chicken sandwiches. Yeah. They got chicken sandwiches. They have chicken sandwiches. And, mm -hmm. and dude, $8 an hour. True. Have it your but way. But they don't have the Baconator. That's true. <laughs> but they do have the slogan of have it your way. And if you're a prostitute, I mean. Well, oh, fair enough. That's kind of more of what it is. It's like, look, you know, have it. here's the have it your way menu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, if you want Shiza, we don't have that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, man. <sighs> Stupid whatnot. <laughs> Moving on. Ugh. Ugh. Stupid. New definition of Happy Meal. <laughs> that's, that's some weird sex position. Yes. She's like, here, get the toy out of my box. Hey, -o! <laughs> hey. <laughs> Restaurant worker Anthony Brisbane used sword on burglar at Captain Steamer's Oyster Bar. Which, first of all. It, it better be a pirate <laughs> sword. That's all I'm saying. Dude. If it's not a cutlass, I'm walking away. <laughs> If there's any justice in the world, they have to open one of these in Cleveland. <laughs> oh, you are so right. But let's go to Captain Steamers. Which one? The one in Cleveland. Oh, oh hold on. if they're open one in 
fucking Cleveland, though. They better serve, like, steamed burgers like White Castle. Cause I ain't having oysters out like here. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, those probably aren't oysters. <laughs> <You're> prior- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Old sinus oh, oysters. That's not what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Holy God, wow, look at that picture. That's cr- look at Hello, eyeballs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Rem- make sure I don't forget to read the line underneath that. All right, fair enough. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to read. The- this is the story, and again, I apologize for the horrible puns. On guard, an employee of a pirate-themed bar found his character's sea legs last night, Ugh. or last weekend, using a sword to thwart a tire-iron-wielding burglar during a wild duel in Daytona Beach, Florida. <laughs> duel. <laughs> Just because there was a sword involved doesn't make it a well, duel. Well, he had a tire iron. He had a sword. Yeah, Choose your weapon. I guess so. Fair enough. And maybe there was pr- appropriate, you know, glove slapping ahead mm. of time. Maybe it was like Thunderdome and just weapons are strapped to the walls or and that. Shit. Mm. Yeah, nice. That's typical of pirate restaurants. Or Spartacus the Pit, <laughs> where they just like spin yeah. the wheel or pull it out of a hat, yep. whatever it was. Exactly. Yeah. Or your ass. That too. A security guard at Captain Steamer's Oyster Bar <laughs> armed himself with a blade when he heard a loud noise at 5.20 a.m. on Sunday. Naturally, because, you know, you're a security guard, you hear a noise, and you're like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I am samurai. <laughs> I mean, come on. The watchman, Anthony Brisbane, said he encountered a masked man lurking in the restaurant's kitchen. <laughs> Creeping. Brisbane jabbed the perp in the stomach with the sword. The alleged intr- <laughs> no, like, hey, what yeah, you doing? Yeah, no, just gut just shot. Boom. <laughs> hey, listen, you know, well, it's Florida. They have that stand your ground law, which we've been hearing about on TV. Mm, fair enough. Fucking stab first, ask questions I later. Guess. Your life's in danger. They I, give you I that law sword. has, you know. All I want to do is walk around with a sword now. If I, I can know. just stab people, you, you got to move to Florida, it. and That's you true. have to be able to claim that your life was threatened. Mm. Now, I- here's a question: What if you have? The you know like how there's like agoraphobia and those kind of things. Yeah. What do you if a, a hor- you just get horrified at the thought of someone being near you or touching you? Could could you use that as saying, "Hey, I felt like my life was in danger," and stab them? Yes. All right. Good enough. Yes. Remind me to make you my lawyer in Florida. <laughs> and also, we're going to Florida too. We're locking down the West Coast, then we're heading to Florida for a dip. Now, when we go to Florida later. Can I just bring some, like, Florida sand back we put in our shoes so we're always in Florida? Yes. Uh, that is a great idea. Loophole. Yeah. Time to start stabbing people. Yes. I like it. The alleged intruder, later identified as Trevor Pufal, 29, supposedly begged, don't kill me, don't kill me. Keeping the rapier pressed to Pufal's gut, Brisbane dialed 911. Oh, the rapier, that's not a sword. No. Nah. But the suspect allegedly cracked the security guard in the head repeatedly with the tire iron. <laughs> In the ensuing scuffle, Brisbane cut himself on the sword, which was broken to begin with. Brisbane claimed to police that he threw Pufal through the floor or on the floor and hit him upside the head with a full beer bottle. Again, my, their words, not mine, but I love the description. You know, why why does this guy have a rapier? On this, him? This, well, no, it, it was one he it was in the restaurant. Oh, he just grabbed a prop, basically. What a dummy! Why didn't he grab a net or something? Anything or an oar? There had been an yeah, oar somewhere. Or a life preserver. <laughs> Put it around him, then beat him in the face with the oar. God. Dude, hold on. It gets better. All right. It, uh, then he held a screwdriver to Pufal's neck and escorted him outside to await arriving cops. Pufal orange juice? Yes. Delicious. Pufal tried to convince police that Brisbane started the brawl by dragging him into the closed pub, but the cops didn't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, man. And the cuts to the security guard were worse than the cuts to of the course. other guy. <laughs> Way to go, douche. <laughs> I just like the fact, can you imagine, you just break in there, you probably broke a window with the tire iron, walks in, get a, you know, I'm just going to steal a little, you know, some oysters or whatever. Yeah, naturally. And then he finds fucking, ca- you know, Long John Silver standing there. <laughs> Yar, a vasty matey. <laughs> Why ye be in me restaurant? <laughs> what the fuck? Did the security guard ask him if he had six fingers? Let's hope. I hope so. Ooh, nice. Good yeah. call. There's a picture at the bottom of this column that you shall click on this column. Or article, whatever you want to call it. And there's a picture of Danny Glover with bug eyes. And, Holy uh, shit, that is Danny Glover. <laughs> it's really not. but it, Oh, my God. It could be, it though. It could be, though. And anyways, the line it's underneath it for this shit. says, Jesse James Thomas arrested March 28th for public drunkenness. Thomas was wearing a sombrero when he jumped on an officer's parked car. Uh, screaming his name according to an account in the Sacramento Bee. <laughs> just, I am a nigga Montoya. Jesse James Thomas. For the sombrero on. Oh, man. Uh, I, you know he had those bug eyes shooting, oh, too. Oh, yeah. Bro. 
That's why they probably, you know, got out, threw some coke on him, and beat the hell out of him. Just tased the shit out yeah. of him. <laughs> oh, boy. He's resisting. <laughs> club, club, You saw club, it? You club. saw it? Ah. <clears throat> bear saves Robert Biggs from mountain lion attack in California. That's a pussy-ass bear. <laughs> mm-hmm. This guy's walking along, and a mountain lion just kind of came out of nowhere after him. But uh, uh, this guy had been watching a mother bear her yearling and a newborn from about 40 feet away when he had no idea he was being stalked by a ferocious mountain lion. As he turned to leave, the cat pounced on his backpack with all four paws. He grabbed me from behind and knocked me to the ground, Biggs told the Huffington Post. I was on my knees, <laughs> and he made him squeal like That's a pig. Right. You know? um, I had my rock pick out because I was on a steep incline. I smashed the cat in the head with it. He screamed but didn't let go. His backpack and rock pick were the only thing standing between him and certain death. He raised his weapon again for another swing at the hulking feline. That's when a blur on my left side grabbed the lion by its throat. Turns out it was the mama bear. I heard a tremendous screeching and some growling noises. <laughs> Big said that the bear ripped the cat's grip from his backpack, and the other two titans clashed for another 15 seconds. The bear won the battle probably because it outweighed the cat by 400 pounds, <laughs> or 400 pounds to 100 pounds. The cat ran away, and the bear went back on all fours, humbly making eye t contact with Biggs before regrouping her young. It's amazing the bear didn't mu just fuck him up, too. Yeah, I know. Like, oh, you're by my young, too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, fucker. I got, I got plenty of death for everyone. This <laughs> exactly. is like a buffet of death. I have way more cans of whoop ass. Yeah. It's like but he looks at the bear. What's going on in here? <laughs> Murder. <laughs> Want some? Want some. <laughs> oh, man. I... <laughs> I'm just amazed that the bear was just like, you know, ripped the cat off him and was like, yo, I got you. <laughs> yeah, that seems, you know, at first I was like, all right, this guy made his escape when the bear came in because the bear's like, oh, shit, mountain lion, I got babies. Oh, dude. But here. then the dude's laid there and the bear's like, yeah, yeah all right. <clears throat> like much respect, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Bumps knuckles and takes <laughs> Looks off. Looks at him. We good? <laughs> yeah. He's like, all right. He's like, I'll leave you alone. I won't watch you and your babies no more. Biggs, who had been hiking the same two-mile trail. Do bears have pedo-human? Hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they do now. They certainly do. <laughs> like, the, was it the one I saw the other day that was the pedo-bear thing <clears throat> that said, uh, God, what is it? My girlfriend, uh, my girlfriend's pregnant, or my girlfriend is having a baby or something like that. I can't remember what it is, but it's basically, I'm going to fuck the whole thing up, but it's alluding to the fact that when the woman gives uh, birth, that the baby is the, the girlfriend. <laughs> Naturally. I can't remember. I fucked up the line. I just forget it. Way Moving to go, on. Brian. Way uh, to go. Dude, th this guy, his wife was like, hey, you've been attacked by a mountain lion. Maybe you should go have the you know people at the hospital have a look at you. And it says here, you know, being a mountain man, he refused his wife, please, to go to the hospital. Instead, put some peroxide on his wounds. <laughs> put some old tussin on yeah. it. <laughs> I mean, dude. Gotta let that tussin soak in. <laughs> Look at that arm, dude. It looks pretty black and blue. I and... mean, he's old. Some of that's probably just liver spots and, you know, <laughs> whatever. Maybe there's some herpes in there or something, but. Ugh. That's pretty nasty. That is pretty Speaking nasty. Speaking of nasty. Oh, yeah. Did you catch this? This was kind of going around yesterday. I see. I did see this. Adolf Hitler toilet paper creates furor Ugh. against German artist Jorg Bookrocker. <sighs> I called him Jorg. His name's George. But Jorg? A cheeky German artist is rolling in controversy after creating toilet paper featuring Adolf Hitler's face without the trademark mustache. It, he created what he calls the draw your own Schittler <laughs> as a satirical <laughs> statement against the evil dictator. And I'm not even going to go into the rest of this column because there's no need. Basically, it's toilet paper with Hitler's face on it. And when you uh, wipe your ass, you give him the old brown mustache. You give him a dirty Sanchez, basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's going to become the dirty Hitler. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. I think this needs to go into, like, other things, just various people that have mustaches. <laughs> I agree. Tom Selleck toilet paper, anyone? <sighs> That's going to have to, uh, mm. that and a Burt Reynolds one, man, you, you're going to have to have a mighty shit now to cover that. Now, if you got the flu, you got to get the Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or the Wilford Brimley. Or Wilford Brimley. <laughs> How do you get it gray, though? <laughs> you don't want to know. You don't want to know. That's nasty, man. It's nasty. <laughs> uh, I actually, when I first read this headline, I actually thought that this was going to be 
that people were like, how dare you put Hitler on something? Right. And, and it's really not. It's that he actually is selling the hell out of this new uh, toilet paper. I think it's Like funny. all over the place. People yeah. in the U.S. and various countries are like, gimme, gimme, gimme. Well, because, you know, it's one of those things like, I can't wait for this guy to go into the bathroom with yeah. some toilet paper. Yeah. Until, right? yeah. <coughs> you know, your best friend comes over and introduces you to his Jewish parents <laughs> or grandparents that were <laughs> fucking at Auschwitz. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, did you learn? And then they're just like, I don't get it. This whole thing's brown. Gross. <laughs> Why would you say that? This kind of. I thought going to take a different angle. So he introduced you to his, like, you know, skinhead friend and oh. beats the fuck out of him. Yeah, I guess there's that <laughs> too, right? Yikes. Um, this kind of is on the heels a little of. Did you see? There was a. I think it was a Turkish shampoo commercial that used Hitler's likeness in it that uh, got pulled down pretty quickly. Yes. Because people, for some reason, were offended by it. It's crazy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know. You wouldn't think that Hitler <laughs> pimping your product would be a bad thing. You know. Apparently frowned on. This commercial's got to be on the net somewhere. Just yeah. Tur- okay. Oh, it's, it's right there. Please tell me it's not Hitler talking about showers. And- oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't know. I'd play it, but it'll. we'll, we'll have to. Tr- we'll try to remember to listen to it after, because I think it's right there. We'll have to post it. Because <clears throat> that's, yeah, that's foul. <laughs> Oh, man. It's going to look weird when Hitler's got, like, a blonde mustache or, you know, if you eat the wrong color, it dies and stuff like that. It's like, Hitler, you got a little corn in that. Or if you're, you know, have some sort of severe problem. Right. (laughs) The old bloody face. Oh, man. Oh, Hitler got punched in the nose. Oh. That's no good. No. Yeah, Hitler has a bloody nose. Like, (laughs) oh, oh, it's for that time of the month. So, apparently, and this was sent in by Diggity... I think someone else, I saw this, <laughs> this is a pretty well covered, but did you see the uh, bacon coffin? I see it now. <laughs> see, I don't really think it looks like bacon. It, I, it looks like, like crazy camouflage, camouflage, right? Yeah, yes. that's what I thought too. I, and I, I got to say, I'm pretty disappointed because I was actually hoping for, oh, Jen said it too. I don't know. It's a good question. Um, do you love bacon to death? Is your dying wish to be buried oh, in bacon? Shut up. Yeah, sorry. God, I hate those people. The company behind Bacon Salt and Bacon A's is making it happen, which really quick, quick sidestep. If you haven't watched Mr. Show, you should find the clips online of Mr. Show doing the bacon A and A's. And the, um, oh God, what is it? It's basically, they combine the whole bacon A's, but it's like, what if you don't have time for whatever? And it, it, it's a fucking great sketch. So anyways. Classic Amber. Amber Alert. Oh. I made a joke out of something horrific. That's what we do. Oh, yeah. I forgot. See, they call it a bacon wrap casket, and the guy says that it's real. But it says that they're finished with a painted bacon and pork shading and accented with gold stationary handles. It, It just doesn't look like bacon. The interior has an adjustable bed and mattress, which is always useful for a fucking corpse, a bacon memorial tube, and is completed in ivory crepe coffin li- uh, linens. Ooh, fancy. I see nothing about it smelling like bacon. It's, it's a fail. If they, what they really and it's three thousand dollars. That's a fail too. Mm-hmm. Is if they wanted it to look like bacon, why don't they take I don't know pictures of bacon and blow it up and wrap it? In? I was just thinking real bacon, <laughs> just, just wrap up. the person in bacon. Yes, mummify Epic them meal in bacon. Time. <laughs> Del- oh. <laughs> oh, that's only for getting cremated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Smart. <laughs> We're wrapping this this shithead in, in bacon. <laughs> Lots of bacon. This week, bacon burial. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking smart. <laughs> bacon and more bacon and bacon and more bacon. bacon. And bacon. Does muscles with glasses have to eat? Oh yeah. The person. Yes. Poor muscles with glasses. The hell. I don't know. I'm not liking this. It doesn't look like bacon. I give it a. It doesn't smell like. Well, listen now. Picture you know you're at <clears throat> at the funeral home and in smell instead of smelling like flowers and creepy funeral home, it smells like bacon. Delicious, right? That would be an uplifting thing. And then you tell everybody as part of well, your no, funeral. No, actually, if I walked in a funeral, smell like bacon, I'd be like, "Where's the bacon?" I'd be like, oh, shit. "Hold just on, the casket." No, 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 no. Because yeah. you do as part of your funeral, you're like, "Hey, just keep the bacon coming, just plates of bacon," so and great. hope Ron Swanson doesn't show up. Oh, that's true. Because <laughs> if Ron Swanson shows up, he'll want all the bacon, <laughs> especially if you have eggs. <laughs> Next up. Christine McCallum sentenced to 29 months for sex with 13-year-old student. 
Hmm. Sounds like something we've covered plenty of times before. It does. Perfectly it does. innocent. A 13-year-old boy having sex with, you know, a 29-year-old teacher. Let me, let me just... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Slow right. down. Former Massachusetts teacher Christine McCallum was sentenced to 29 months. kind of looks like the blonde from The Office. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. In prison and 10 years probation for raping and drugging a 13-year-old oh, student. Oh, that's different. McCallum, 29, was arrested in January 2009 and convicted of raping the boy up to 300 times. Holy shit. Over a 21-month <laughs> period. Damn. Does she have, like, a bunch of little, like, penises stamped on the side of her car? Like yeah. Like old no, World I, War I biplane? No, no, no. She just has a football helmet. You oh. know, the stickers <laughs> on them? They're just dicks. <laughs> um, she pleaded guilty to 12 counts of child rape, one count of drugging a person for sex, which I didn't know was a... Uh, crime yeah, I better stop well that. i knew it was a crime but i didn't know you could be charged with it <laughs> and one count of providing alcohol to a minor no just, mayhem just one time yeah once she rapes in 300 times but only one time of drugging and one count of apparently they just smush them all together because he was asking for it yeah the former abington elementary school educator started tutoring her victim and his 11 year old brother in 2005 tutoring quote unquote yeah if you know what i'm saying yeah do, 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 do. Time for some sex ed. Yep. She, she comes over, puts in some hot for teacher, you know. After a 20-month period, that's a long period. Ooh, man, <laughs> she better keep them fluids up. <laughs> the Holy two boys shit. started living with her and her husband part-time. McCallum had sex with a 13-year-old for the first time in 2006 and used alcohol and Mary J to persuade him. The sexual relationship ended almost two years later when the boy, then 15, became interested in a girl his own age. Why? No. <laughs> He's getting booze, Beaver, and Mary J from this teacher. What the hell's a 16-year-old girl got to offer him? 16-year-old mm. titties, that's what she has to offer. <laughs> Young bitches. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not much. <laughs> Anyways, um, in an impact statement, the boy's father described McCallum as a true predator and monster who destroyed his life. Why were the kids allowed to live with her? Um, uh, why, why wasn't the know. father? Yeah. You put my two sons at grave risk on many occasion without my knowledge. You gave my kids drugs and alcohol with no regard for their well-being, only to fulfill your own selfish needs. The father said in court, to me, you are a true predator and a monster. The father's just jealous. He wasn't involved. You're right. He's like, how come teachers didn't do that in my He's day? He's the one who probably dimed her out. You're probably right. Mm -hmm. he, he made some advances and she's like... Yeah, I'm really into this under 18 dick. <laughs> yeah. So, so okay, so normally yeah. we're like, you know, when this kind of thing happens, a lot of times we're like, whatever, high five to the kid. This is a little awkward. <laughs> this is a little awkward, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what, though? It's like, look, I mean. I, two, what was it two or 300 times? It's 300 times. The kid was clearly in, well, enjoying himself. Here's my deal. See, when you say the word rape, people story people either go hilarious or <laughs> or horrific. Okay, that's pretty much where it, the line is drawn on rape. It's true. Am I wrong? This is a good, All right. Good point. Then. Now, for the sake of most of what we talk about, it's not. It's more towards the hilarious than horrific. Anyways, um, and. <laughs> And again, I'll make a quick disclaimer. Anyone who truly knows us doesn't know that we do not support rape. We don't. Always yell surprise. Exactly. Um, <laughs> or wear clown shoes. Or wear clown shoes. Because <laughs> it's funny. Especially if they make the honking sound. Yeah, squeak, squeak, squeak. So, what's weird about this is, like you said, it's got to be statutory. Yeah. There's no way a 13-year-old boy is getting offered ass and he's like, no, no. And she's like, fuck me, damn it, with a gun to his head or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. I, I have a hard time believing this. Now, I'm not saying a guy can't be raped. I'm just saying a 13-year-old boy can't be raped. That's true. As soon as a 13-year-old boy realizes it, <laughs> what his dick is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's over, Jenny. <laughs> yeah, that's like, yeah. he's like, hey, this is the greatest like, thing huh, ever. I have a new hobby now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See here, uh, Xbox, Facebook, beating off. That's about it. All at once? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. And, and again, it's not like his teacher was like, you know, hella old. I mean, Some she's sort of mongoloid. I mean, she's three times his age, but it's still, yeah. well, not quite. That'd be 39, but... She was 29. But it's still, I don't know. She's like, hey, you want some weed? He was like, fuck yeah, I want some weed. Yeah. You want some beers? Sure. Fuck yeah, I want some beers. You want some ass? Like, fuck yeah. Exactly. Show me them titties. It's like, you know, I, I don't know. I'm, <sighs> this is a crime and she should be punished. I'm not saying that. Right. It's just interesting how when you put the word rape to it, your mind immediately thinks of something way worse than what I'm sure it truly was. Of course, I'm going to play this card. 
Because she walks out and he's like, Mrs. Robinson, I think you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> or no, are no, you trying? Uh, if it was a 29-year-old male teacher and a 13-year-old female student, yeah, eh, he'd be put away for probably 20-plus <laughs> years. Yeah. And you know what? The double standard well, is retarded. We have to keep we have to keep everything the same though. Yes. If a twenty nine year old male gave a thirteen year old girl beer and marijuana, uh, Chris Hansen show up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's like conjuring a genie. It does look a little more devious than that's true. You know, but you know what I'm saying. Because most thirteen year old girls are not going. Oh my god, I have to get fucked. That's true. You know what I mean. Whereas a thirteen year old boy is like, I have to get all of this out of my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it builds up more. I have to get all of that out of it's my nuts. Either the teacher or my old teddy. Bear, <laughs> somebody's getting it, or a giraffe. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That's a naughty giraffe. <laughs> oh, oh, hilarious, Wilfred. Yeah, I can't wait till that comes back. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't want to sound like I'm glorifying raping boys, but <laughs> uh, again, if there's a 20, 29 year old male teacher and a thirteen year old male student. The heads so it, roll. It's yeah. The, yeah, it still seems bad. It's just put in this context, it just doesn't seem that bad. Because most 13-year-old boys would want to high-five this kid probably. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The real question is, was he passing his classes? Mm, I would be. say, yeah, at least one of them. <laughs> She's like, all I can say is he's great on the oral exam. <laughs> <laughs> You should write for the Huffington Post. <laughs> <laughs> I should. <laughs> and speaking of uncomfortable situations. Hmm, fair enough. A vicar hospitalized with potato up his bottom. <laughs> and that's what the title says. Ouch. Plus, when I say bottom, I feel like I'm doing a Monty Python sketch. That w- that, well, butter my bottom. Why? <laughs> Wait till you hear this. Damn it, he needs to chew properly. That's the problem. <laughs> No, he saw the South Park where you eat with your ass instead of your mouth. Oh, okay. No. Fair enough. The clergyman in his 50s told medical staff at Sheffield oh, Northern General Hospital <laughs> clergyman, oh boy. that the accident was definitely not due to a sex game. Of course. No. <laughs> Which means it, it was due to a sex was. game. I had the potato. <laughs> Walks in the hospital. First off, this is definitely not a sex <laughs> game that happened. <laughs> Uh, he's like, ask those boys out there. Yes. Which ones? Those three that are crying. <laughs> he had to undergo surgery to extract the spud from his backside, which just reminds me of an episode of Scrubs, uh, where the guy has the light bulb up his ass. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyways. Oh, one guy, one jar. Shudder. Oh, God. Shudder. <laughs> A&E nurse. Everyone should look that up. <laughs> Annie nurse yeah, Trudy Watson said he explained to me quite sincerely he had been hanging curtains naked in the kitchen. Well, who, who does it? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I figure if I'm hanging curtains, I must have my junk out for everybody in the neighborhood to see. <laughs> no shit, dude. Uh, pressing your Franken beans on the glass. Especially bed junk. <laughs> right. It's how God wanted it. <laughs> Like I said, pressing it on the glass yeah, from exactly. the neighbors <laughs> with a big thing underneath items in this window it may appear smaller than by his kitchen later. <laughs> the bird hit your window. What is that? What's that mark? <laughs> Nothing. Kind uh, of small bird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a weird wing pattern. Uh, he was hanging like bad even. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one. It looks like a goat. <laughs> See what I did there? I see. Uh, when he fell backwards onto the kitchen table and onto a potato. Now, how do you fall onto a potato and have it lodge up your ass? Well, he fell off his, holding his asshole wide open is a problem. <laughs> well, naturally, I... He was actually aiming for the dildo. <laughs> Miss. Don't we all hang our, our uh, curtains naked while gaping our own exactly. asshole? For a suction cup cock on a table. <laughs> oh, my God. Now... <clears throat> the nurse then said, but it's not for me to question his story, which is true. Their job is to just, you know, remove it. And laugh behind and her laugh, back. <laughs> yeah. She went on to reveal other objects removed from people's derriere, including a cucumber, a Russian doll, and a carnation. Now, a Russian doll could be funny if you could cram one person up an ass and just keep doing it. <laughs> that's, that's, that would be a great. A group of nesting dolls. <laughs> right? Except that it's people actually yes. doing it. Yeah. Wow. I, somehow I don't believe his story, Brian. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, apparently the story is actually from 2008 and somehow came back to... Surfaced again. Yeah, yeah I, I'm pretty sure I don't... Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't buy this guy's story. <laughs> oh, I wish I would have seen this sooner, though. There People were uh, putting stuff on Twitter off of this story. Damn. Oh, man. 
No, you know what? I guess actually I'm glad after reading some of these. These are pretty awful. <laughs> They're all terrible. Aren't they? I think the people of the Huffington Post wrote them. They're just awful. Are they nice and punny? They're not even. Oh, jeez. The Lord is my shepherd's pie. That one's kind of funny. Uh, yeah. Win. <laughs> that's the best one. And by a mile, that's the best that's one. That's not that great. You know what I think? We should move on. Fair enough. To something we can all get happy about. Female volleyball players can cover up for the Olympics. Cover up. Like, no more big volleyball bikini. Right. Uh, <laughs> now, did you know? On National Cleavage Day, how dare I, you? <laughs> now, did you know that that is actually the approved uniform for I, Olympic that volleyball? I did. That I, did. I did not know that. That That is actually, like, they, it dictates that the women have to wear, like, bikinis. They can't wear shorts like the guys mm-hmm. and go topless. They have to wear bikinis. Well, how else is that? And NBC they can't wear head coverings. For that ass shot, they can know? only wear, like, the visors. Right. Yeah, you're right. The ass shots will probably yeah, be changing. When they're throwing up the, like, little gang signs behind their back. Well, or that's what? that's the play, so they know where yeah, they're each going. Exactly. It's very important. That's why they zoom in so we can get a good look exactly. at the play. Exactly. Because everyone knows what the right. hand signals It's mean. just like in baseball when they don't zoom in on the crotch of the catcher when he's doing all the things. Exactly. Yeah. Plus, Wait. no one wants to see that. Well, you do. No. Yeah, you do. We're talking about volleyball ass? Because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually, <clears throat> the reason that they uh, are changing the rules is because of, you know, religious beliefs of various countries. Fair enough. And uh, also, in the event that, uh, you know, there's colder weather, because, you know, the, the next Olympics are in London, which means rain every day. Yes, rain and fog. Yeah. How exciting for the Summer Olympics. Yeah. Great, yeah. great place to good, pick. When, what's guy. next, Seattle? <laughs> might, might as well be. The London of the U.S.? <laughs> yes. Um but, yeah, they're doing it because, you know, they're allowing the women to wear head coverings and whatnot or headgear that, you know, uh, fall in line with their religious beliefs and whatnot, which that I can get behind. That I understand. But, but the real question here is, like, you know NBC was probably like, oh, come on. So They're like, well, I guess we're not showing women's volleyball so this Ted year. NBC is like, all right, see your bikini bottoms or yoga pants, your choice. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only uniform we're approving, boys. <laughs> and the Olympics committee they all smoke like, cigars. <laughs> well, naturally, all sip, sipping brandy. Yeah. Of course, yeah. They um, NBC is just hoping that a bunch of the women don't choose to go with like you know uh, board shorts or something. <laughs> yeah, because if so, the ratings are just going to plummet on that. <laughs> plummet exactly. Yeah. It'd just be like in tennis if they allowed the women to wear what the guys wear as far as shorts and polo shirts. It's just, that's it. Yep. It's over. It's over. Who's watching it now? Nobody. Everybody, because it's glorious sport. Come on. Oh, yeah, you're right. You sexist son of a bitch. That's right. <laughs> I was just playing a role, Brian. Oh, you're I'm, right. I'm practicing to be on Mad Men. I got nothing. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Yikes. Oof, smoking crater that one landed. Yeah. <laughs> you are correct, sir. Not even the Hitler toilet paper will clean up that mess. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, this is one you sent in here. The New York City Department of Education oh. wants 50 forbidden words banned from standardized tests. Such as, like, dinosaur. Cunt. Birthday. <laughs> so it's basically like taking the seven things you can't say on TV and going to 50? Oh, my God, dude. It's, it's, is there a list in here? I, th- I think there's at least examples. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> nope, there's actually a complete list. Ooh. Fuck the rest of it, because I ain't going to bother reading yeah. it. We, we get the idea. These assholes probably want things to be PC. And like dinosaur, they want to yeah. ban dinosaur because of uh, creationism. creationism yeah. yeah, they want to ban like birthday because of Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh, jeez. Exactly. And, and, you know, it's with the whole thing. Well, uh, if we... If we ban this, then this group's going to speak up about this. We better ban that. Here's what I'm thinking. Our our whole country's doomed. Can't we all, as a people, just go, you know what? Here's the thing. There are certain terms that are very offensive. Yes. Okay, calling somebody, you know, a wetback or a towelhead or, you know, various other words. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those are offensive words. Okay, you, you generally cannot use those in a context to that person and not offend them. Yes. Fine. But if I say birthday, even if you are a Jehovah's Witness, to me it should be like saying Christmas to a Jewish person. Yeah. Like if I say Merry Christmas, they should just – in their head it should just translate into happy holidays or good wishes, whatever. Or it's like telling an atheist you'll pray for them. Instead of mm, God, mm, they yeah. should just go cool. Or, hey, thanks, buddy. Thank you. What the? What? <laughs> it just changed in- – your screen reloaded. It threw oh, me off. Sorry about that. But you know what I mean? It's like, can't we all just understand here that, that 
when there is intent and when there isn't intent. It's, oh, yeah. really, it's really not difficult to figure out, you know. Well, it's, it, they got to protect the children, Brian. Because, it's all about the children. Let's be honest here. Y- you can say what you want, but dinosaurs existed. Whoa. There's proof of dinosaurs. Now, those bones were put there to t- to challenge our faith. Yeah. Why can't why doesn't uh, why doesn't faith just say that God put dinosaurs on the earth for us to ride for pleasure and profit? And, except and, that we war. Except that people weren't around at exactly. the same time. But I don't even you know want to get into it. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the list because somehow I got it. Man, I should have moved this because this feels like something that that's so annoying. Yeah. All right. You know what gets me is our, our whole bubble wrap society that we're making. Yeah. Do you think, like, I don't know, like in China they're worried about shit like this? Or they're like, fuck well, you, learn. You know what it is, though? It's, they're not, but they are. Like, China has their own list of things that can't be used on tests and oh, whatnot. talk about government. <laughs> no, you're right. It's yeah. what it is. You know, they have, like, you know censored what I'm subjects. It's just, yeah. uh, so, it's just so. Well, other countries. I, I was reading something yesterday. So kid gloved. I forgot what country it is. They're talking about passing a uh, porn ban, like a complete ban on porn. And if women wear skirts that are too short, they violate the porn law. Because it's it, the only reason to wear a skirt above the knee, well above the knee, is to, you know, essentially to sexualize yourself. Mm. And any attempt to sexualize whatever is it falls under this. And mm-hmm. I was like, that sounds like a country that's going to have a lot of people getting prosecuted. Oh, yes. Because you're not going to be able to wear anything that, you know, our guy, I would imagine guys probably can't wear tight shirts that show off their, uh, like, muscles or tight pants that show off their bulges, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. especially if they're wild and crazy guys. Wild and crazy. Uh, All right, to the list. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Herm. Abuse. Physical, sexual, emotional, or psychological. I think, really? Like, Billy's dad abuses him five times a week. If Billy's dad stops... Uh, one fifth of the time. <laughs> how many times problem. less does Billy's dad beat him? Once. It's true. Now, why why would that be wrong as a math problem? Because if there's a kid getting beat, he might. He oh, might take you're right. To this. Damn it. You hit, well, especially if your name's Billy, that'd be great. <laughs> like, there's a kid in the there's class. One kid just starts stopping. <laughs> there's one kid in the class named Billy, and he does happen to get beat by his father four times a week. Uh. Alcohol, beer and liquor, tobacco, or drugs. Boo. I can see where that's appropriate. Uh, that's just more of an appropriate thing for well, children. Yeah. You know, all right, whatever. It just annoys me. Birthday celebrations and birthdays. That one bothers me. Exactly. Because, okay, so you're going to tell me that I can't say or use the word birthdays because well, someone like might get if, offended. Like but, if you're a teacher and you know it's this kid's birthday, you can't go, hey, happy birthday. Yeah. What are you supposed to do? Nothing. See, that's garbage. Exactly. <laughs> whatever. If, no, my feelings more along the lines of look. If you believe that, don't believe in birthdays. Like, I just won't wish you a happy. Like birthday. we just had Logan's birthday. Yeah, you know we went rolling into school with uh, three and a half dozen donuts for his class. Nice, you know. Right. I mean, that's how we do it. Now all of a sudden you can't do that because you know God forbid. Not in New York. Ooh. Yeah. Well, no, you can. You just can't say it's for a birthday. That's true. You're just like, hey, it's donut day. I'm sure that's probably probably you know, we'll get to bo- yeah. donuts probably. Uh, bodily functions like none. So how do they talk about the digestive system? <laughs> Whoa, slow down. Or sexual uh, reproduction nope, dealings? Nope, mm-mm, no, mm-mm, can't do it. Circulatory issues? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> they can't talk about breathing? No. Whoa, <laughs> easy, <Filthy>. easy. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, today we're going to talk about how the heart beats. Fucking SWAT team kicks the door in, swings in the window, <laughs> knocks the teacher. To tase, the tase, tase. <laughs> Kids, you didn't hear anything. <laughs> They just drag the teacher. Helicopter <laughs> outside. Spotlights shining in. Put a hood over the teacher's head and drag him out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cancer and other diseases. So, well, okay. So if they can't talk about other diseases, that means that you, they can't. They can't use. Oh, this is from the standardized tests. Okay, so they can't. They don't talk about STDs and stuff in there, anyways. So I'll say otherwise, how do they have sex ed class in these things? Well, <laughs> they don't. Here's what it is. It's, it's like a big book. You open it up, and it says abstinence. <laughs> sex ed is this one teacher just goes google yeah just google <laughs> she's like and while you're there type my name in um she's like better yet go to a, a porn tube or whatever it's <laughs> <Yeah>. called <laughs> catastrophe slash disasters tea tsunamis and hurricanes i had to do that Fucking <laughs> so um <laughs> I, I, I'm glad. At least this is for tests. This isn't for the everyday use. Yeah, but at it's, least. it's yeah. still shitty. Yeah. In my home Celebrities. 
children dealing with serious issues. So if a kid, in the, you know, they can't uh, put if anything on the test. radio is acting up. <laughs> yeah, tough. Yeah, you're bumming. Cigarettes and other smoking paraphernalia. Mm-hmm. So the teacher, you know, they can't put things on the test about bongs and rolling nope. papers. Nope. Computers in the home, acceptable in a school or library setting. <laughs> I, I don't understand that. That one I don't get either. Crime. Yeah. Death and disease. That kid's got a personal computer. I don't. <laughs> oh. Divorce. Evolution. Expensive gifts, vacations, and prizes. Why can't they talk about fabulous gifts and prizes? Well, now, can they talk about inexpensive gifts and vacations and right, prizes? We'll find out when we get to the eyes. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Gambling involving money. What else did you gamble with? <laughs> Sexual favors. Um, fair enough. Jesus Christ, it just reloaded again. What the fuck? Had about enough of this. this. page blows. Yo, you know why? Yeah, I know why it's doing it. Because it's sex. Because there's a refresh baloney deal on there. Anyways, uh, where the hell was I? God damn it. Gambling. Yeah, you're right. Halloween. Spooky. Yep. Satan. Pagan, paganism. Satan. Yeah, even though paganisms were fucking Christianity. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Anyways. Um, homelessness. So no point in laughing at the homeless. Exactly. Homes with swimming pools. <laughs> Too fancy. <laughs> Naturally. Yeah. Hunting. Because, um, you know. PETA. You might have someone who morally, morally objects to killing animals. Deliciousness. Uh, junk food. More deliciousness. They don't want to promote uh, obesity, I guess. Fair enough. In-depth discussions of sports that require prior knowledge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Which could be any sport. Uh, that could be anything. It could be any sport because no matter what sport it is, there's probably at least one kid in the room that doesn't know the <laughs> yeah. rules. You know, loss of employment, nuclear weapons, mm, nuclear vessels. Yes. Mm. Real quick, folks, for those who don't know, I was saying nuclear, you know, on purpose because it drives me fucking crazy. And can't Fuken. pronounce nuclear right. Occult topics. Example: fortune telling. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't put voodoo in there. <laughs> Fair yeah. enough. Get to the fees. Parapsychology. What? Oof. Parapsychology? Yep. Is that talking about Paris Hilton? That's a, that's a, isn't that within a submarine? Up oh, parapsychology. <laughs> yes. Politics. Well, that's probably just a good idea anyway. Yeah, I agree. That's good for <laughs> any situation. Our idiot fucking governor put blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you know, but, That'd be great. Uh, pornography. Well, that that's an obvious one. I, my, Is it? I don't know. I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> if Susie sucked three dicks. <laughs> for $10, how much does Susie <laughs> charge for five dicks? <laughs> uh, poverty. Rap music. Is R- rock music on there? Yes. Okay. I was like, as well. I, 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 I wanted to look myself. <laughs> yeah. uh, religion. Country music's not, though. Well, yeah. Why don't they just put music? Uh, that, whoa. <laughs> country's good, I guess. Non, non-classical music. Because country's, country's all about America. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, religion, religious holidays and festivals, including but not limited to Christmas, Yom Kippur, and Ramadan. Rock and Big roll three. music. Rock and roll. Yes, not rock, you know. Oh, shit. Not ampersand, you know. Rock and roll. Running away. Is that running away as in, like, running away from home, or is it it's like running away because you're about to get your ass kicked? Hmm. I don't know. Good question. Probably both. Both. We, we'll just assume it's both. Yeah. Sets? Because, you know. Sets? Ca- sex. Oh, sex. Uh, sorry. I sets. I did say and sets. Like, like the snake god from Conan? Yes. <laughs> shit. <laughs> they especially hate on that one. <laughs> Slavery. I don't know why. That's crazy. Yeah. Terrorism. Mm, terror. Because we won't stand for terror. Television and video games, excessive use. Boo. Traumatic material, including material that may be particularly upsetting, such as animal shelters or anything with Sarah McLaughlin in it. <laughs> Ugh, eyes of the angel. Vermin, rats and roaches. <laughs> Vermin's really on there? Violence. Um, huh. <laughs> war and bloodshed. Weapons, guns, knives, etc. And witchcraft, sorcery, etc. Worst tests ever. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, do you know what's not on the list? Profanity. <laughs> you got that right. Woo! Woo! Fuck yeah. <laughs> Every other word on the test exactly. is fuck this, it's a fuck whole that. Paragraph of fucks and then yeah. comprehension questions <laughs> afterwards. It's the, uh, like that clip Rose posted on her blog <laughs> of yes. uh, Steve Martin from. Uh, Planes oh, of Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I blanked all of a sudden. Fucking- <laughs> That's a great scene. <laughs> uh 
Ugh. Uh, yeah. Man. So the kids basically are not allowed to be taught about anything that's actually relevant to life. And also, everyone gets a trophy. Uh, Fuck that. Exactly. Fuck them with their trophy, in fact. Ouch. Zing. Eh. Right in the potato hole. (laughs) (laughs) Cops ask for help identifying bank robber, then media blur face to protect his privacy. That's awesome. (laughs) This was sent to us by Diggity as a... uh, (laughs) <laughs> Wait, is this off the onion by chance? No, no, it sure isn't. I, it's, it's, it, it really feels like that's it. That's like an onion headline. No, this is from The Sun UK. A Swiss well. television station <laughs> thwarted cops' bid to identify a suspected bank robber by blurring out his face in their wanted picture. <laughs> but then when, you know, obviously, you know. <laughs> a spokesman later defended the decision, saying, We have decided never to show the faces of those involved in a crime unless there is an immediate physical danger to the public. So did he rob the bank friendly-like? Like, please give me all of your money. <laughs> and I don't know. That's a good question. I just love the fact that the cops are like, this will be great. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> They're all sitting around watching TV, eating uh, Swedish meatballs, I assume. Of course. Yes. <laughs> and dried fish, I guess. Right. I don't know. Swedish fish also yeah, as Swedish. a dessert. And chocolate, of course. Chocolate, yeah. Cups of Swiss mints. <laughs> right, of course, of course. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> hey, the Horgan. <laughs> Our new segment is on. <laughs> oh, um, the fuckers. <laughs> The head, the head of the mil- or the police said, I don't know about privacy, but it certainly infringes on good basic common sense. <laughs> The Swiss TV and Radio Association backed the station's decision, saying, With regards to the current privacy laws, we do not make public images of people needed for ID purposes unless there's an immediate risk. A furious, I don't know if it's Buttet, but that's what we're going to call him, blasted back, If a masked gunman is not a danger to the public, then I don't know what is. What what they did was stupid, and they just don't want to admit it. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good quote. (laughs) And apparently... shit, that's... Time number two to kick the mic stand. The politicians are on that guy's side as well. The, the you know, the TV network's a bunch of boobs. That's awesome. And should be sacked. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, it's in UK. They'd be I sacked, I agree. Right? I agree. For buggering up? Yes. <laughs> Those damn blokes. Damn blokes. Wankers. Bollocks. Wankers. All right, enough of that. Uh, I think this was sent by Diggity also. Hospital in Stockholm. Sweden again, Tony. Man, no. what's all the Swedish news? Well... Seeks new sexy nurses. Oh, yeah. This is the kind of thing we can sink our meat into, sink teeth into. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Hilarious. See, I should be writing for the Huffington Post. I'm all over this. A hospital in Stockholm has published a job advertisement trying to attract nurses who are both qualified and, quote, TV series hot, unquote, and what has been explained as an attempt to catch people's attention. (laughs) Sounds like it's working. We're looking to recruit competent nurses above all, but we wanted to stick out a bit with our advertising campaign, and we managed to do that, <laughs> said nursing manager Jorgen Anderson of, of the Stockholm South General to the local. You will be motivated, professional, and have a sense of humor, and of course you will be TV series hot or soder hipster, which I don't know what that is. Throw in a nurse's education, and you're welcome to seek a summer job at, oh my God, I don't know how to say this. Soders your Cusitz emergency department. <laughs> we want okay. people to be curious and have a little imagination, said the head nurse, which yeah. has a whole different meaning now. Oh, yeah. yeah she's the most popular nurse, That's except right. for the anal nurse. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, here comes the backdoor nurse. <laughs> How can you tell, brown spots? <laughs> ah. I see. <laughs> or scrubs. I said smocks. Oh, man. <laughs> She's a painter. Oh, or a Yankees fan. Or a Yankees fan. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Wow. All Leave right. it to those wacky Swedes. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that old Viking blood. Yeah, well, you know. I'm, uh, there's actually a second part to this. Holy what? Smikies, what? Part number, part number two? Yeah, I, you know. It says something about, you know, people being upset that it's a, uh, you know, it could be exclusionary because, you know, only seeking hot people. He put, of course, being good looking is no requirement at all. We put out an ad looking for interest and we got a great response. We want a nurse who's qualified and good at their job reg- regardless of looks, they told the local. Meanwhile, there's a line out the door for hernia tests. <laughs> yep. 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 
Yeah. yeah and prostates. prostates. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Find my balls. Dude. Garrett sent this to us too, but I I had already put it in the, the, the hopper. The hold. Man saws off foot to avoid work in Austria. He must have a terrible job. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, I'm sure there's days you'd like to saw your foot off hmm. instead of going to work, right? Maybe. Except that that's not exactly the story here. Oh, okay. An unemployed Austrian man sawed off his foot, apparently to avoid being found fit to go back to work. <laughs> he was enjoying sitting around playing his Xbox and okay. uh, watching scat films. I got you. Oh, wait, he's Austrian. He's Sorry. Austrian now. Close enough. It really is. Yeah. Hours before an appointment on Monday for the labor office to check on his health, the 56-year-old man held his left leg against an electric saw in his home workshop and severed his foot just above the ankle. Bleeding profusely, the man from... <laughs> he the, did it hours before? Yeah. <laughs> from the province of Styria, then threw the foot into an oven, hobbled to his garage and called an ambulance. An emergency <laughs> operation was unable to reattach the foot. <laughs> Oh, of course, it was marinating in garlic and butter. <laughs> yeah, delicious. <laughs> mm. No, it was it was actually being made with uh, kraut and sausages. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Well, it wasn't it, instead of sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this this sausage has got a delicious kind of earthy taste. Yeah, this is great. Oh, toenail, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hair. <laughs> is this a callus? That's. <laughs> what, what, what went through his no, no, dude. Like, what did you make this in? It's like, well, first I saw, started out by sautéing the foot with some bunions and butter. And <laughs> there's also a hint of corn. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I think we've got them all. Is there anything so. else? I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> it's a new term for pad tie. See, oh, pad of your foot. Yeah, See what I, I did you. there? Yeah. I got gotcha. you. See, we didn't even make a soul reference in there. We could have, though. I was yeah. trying to figure something to go with a hammer toe. I can't think of anything. <laughs> uh, gross. But, I just love the fact that this guy's unemployed and cut his foot off. I just well, I love the panic that must have went through his head. Yeah. Hours were, oh, 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 shit. Geez. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Like, Throw it in the oven. They'll never find it. Of all the things to do, cut my foot off was the thing he yes. chose. <laughs> like, I could even, like, see if he was like, all right, um... I'm going to hold this thing and it'd break my arm you know, yeah, yeah. with this board. Or have my friend break my arm yeah. with a bat or something. But, yeah. <laughs> Not saw off your foot. So the the question I have to ask is, does Austria have um, state-funded health care? They must. If so, that's one of those cases where they should refuse. Exactly. They're like, we'll make it so you don't die. You're like, we'll stop the bleeding and whatnot. But that that's as far as we're going Everything from there, sorry. They should just game with gun here. Just, just go, finish it. Go take care of yourself on the field go, over there. Go make like ours face. <laughs> yes. Or Kurt Cobain. Or Kurt Cobain. Yeah. Eat the shotgun. Ah, silver salad time. Nice shot. This story was one that made me throw my arms up in angrified whatever. I was just mad. Rage? Yeah, that too. It, to quote Mr. Furious, you know. Fury level rising. Yes. LaKay Roberts, Texas five-year-old with cerebral palsy, denied use of unsafe walker at school. Now. So did it have like spinning razor blades and spikes on it? It did. Or? It did. But no. but she kept them in while going down the hallway. Oh, well, then what's the problem? A Texas mother is planning to file a lawsuit against the uh, whatever school district because they uh, the special education director said the five-year-old could no longer use her walker at school. She has cerebral palsy and needs the walker to move around. She's also used the device at school for the last two years. The girl's mother recorded the conversation with him and posted it to YouTube, which means windmill slam, win for the uh, mom. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, of all the times people taping this and that, it, good for her because fuck this guy. Anyways, um, basically, she can't use the walker because we don't think it's safe, the guy Lemley says in the recording. When Roberts, the girl's mom, asks why why it isn't safe, he responds, I just told you, we don't feel it's safe any longer. So he didn't even give her a legitimate reason. I'm thinking if a five-year-old can operate it, it's probably safe. Right. Now, I mean, I don't know how bad, like, her palsy or anything is. She might kind of be all over the road with it, basically. <laughs> but even still, I mean, I'm trying not to be an <laughs> asshole, dude. I can't help it, but yeah. All over the road. <laughs> Crazy palsy driver! <laughs> Shaking the fist. You know what I mean? I mean it down Have the hallway. Have you seen her hallways, ma'am? They're scraped all up. 
<laughs> kids getting sh- shoved yeah, into exactly. fucking lockers. And, oh. <laughs> That's the problem. She's actually a bully. <laughs> yeah. She's kept checking kids in the lockers yeah. with the walker. <laughs> She's <laughs> pinning them against the locker with yeah. the walker, too. Oh. <laughs> The school decided the walker's unsafe after she fell in the parking lot because her walker collapsed. Her mother likens the incident to a student falling on the playground, asking Lemley in the recording whether he asks students who fall during recess to take off their shoes and buy new ones. No, ma'am, Lemley says. They're not using walkers. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing this guy probably didn't know he was being recorded. I'm guessing you're correct. Otherwise, he might have dialed the asshole down a little bit. Um... This is basically, you don't tell somebody you trip on your feet, so chop them off and come to school. You're safer in a wheelchair. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Well, that's get out of work. Different story. Good point. Oh, man. The part that really bothers me about this is, uh, well, real quick, I'll finish. The mom wants the guy to resign and an apology and wants the girl to be able to use her walker. And uh, where is it here? In a statement last week, New Caney ISD, which is the school district, Officials declined to comment specifically on the case and instead focused on privacy issues. It's important to know that the video and audio recording at issue was not sanctioned or authorized by the district to be released for public dissemination. Furthermore, which it doesn't have to be the mom authorized it. Right. Yeah, anyways. Furthermore, the district does not agree that the recording at issue here is a complete recounting of the entire underlying confidential discussion and is therefore neither represent representative nor accurate towards explaining the district's ongoing efforts to serve its students. If that's the case, this is real simple to fix. Fire the guy, let the girl use her walker. Yep. Windmill slam win for the district. <laughs> Word. And then they, because that's all the mom's asking for, the mom probably could push this further and go after damages oh, yeah. and money. You know, asking a girl who can walk, you know, even though it's assisted by a walker, to have to use a wheelchair is insane that's fuck that yeah it's like the mom should be like i'll tell you what she'll use a wheelchair if you make everybody else use a wheelchair because she can walk she just needs this well, plus, assistant you, you know I, that's what i'm saying she's lazy but you don't want her to get accustomed to fucking sitting all the right time. or taking the easy wanna, way yeah you want to keep them look not too great functioning do, legs functioning people with palsy have trouble with some of the stuff some of them have more trouble than others and some of them that it's painful to like my brother actually who you know how daryl walks he he has a real mild type that's why he walks with his one foot kind of up and it hurts him to stretch because the the, one of his achilles tendons is longer than the other right so it hurts him to walk flat on both feet because it's pulling that tendon Mm -hmm. you know so but if he just sits in a chair He's not walking around at yeah. all. I got an idea. Should I walk or should I atrophy? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's like somebody losing like one of their legs or something like from the knee down. They don't they don't encourage them to use a wheelchair. They yeah. still want you to walk, you know, because, you know, plus at five years old, I, I don't want this girl to give up her independence like that. Exactly. Fuck that guy. Yeah. I almost want to call him shithead of the week, but I don't even think it's enough. I think he's our cunt of the week. Well, how many categories do we have? Many. As many <laughs> as we want. We have a big haul for this. Ooh, excellent. So a hall of He's a player coach on the cunt. Third bucket. Yeah, he's a player coach on the cunt hall of fame. Yeah, fair he holds a clipboard. Yeah. Excellent. All right, back to the funny. This has been funny. <laughs> <laughs> Please arrest woman with cocaine and fake belly. <laughs> huh. All right. Uh wait. What? This makes you think of something. I should have sent this into us. I saw an ad for the Freedom Flask. Mm-hmm. It has a flask for dudes that basically you wear it on your balls. <laughs> oh, God. So you could, like, piss into a glass. <laughs> wow. Yes. That is something. So it just looks like you have a nice bulge, but you're actually smuggling in booze. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. Police say they arrested a woman carrying more than four pounds of cocaine stashed inside Damn. a fake pregnant belly strapped around her waist. Ah, uh, coke babies. I know, right? The 20-year-old woman was arrested after arriving at the international airport in the northeastern city of Natal. Police say the woman arrived from south or central western Brazil oh, and became nervous during routine questioning of passengers from the, coming from the areas where drug traffic drug trafficking levels are high i've watched locked up abroad don't smuggle anything to anywhere did they lock up more than one yeah ah, <laughs> anyways, yeah. that's a scary ass show uh, the police say the woman acknowledged she was carrying 2.1 kilos which is 4.6 pounds of coke inside the false belly 
Oh, man. Also arrested was a man waiting for her outside the airport, also known mm. as the accomplice. Fair enough. <laughs> the old pregnant belly that's trick. A, five pounds of Coke. You know, that's a pretty impressive. So I'm guessing they don't have those scanners there where they, you know, like the nude scanners. Right. Because you would think they would see <laughs> right through that, right? <laughs> I just saw a news thing today. I don't know if it's true or not. It was just a little blurb. Well, it's on the internet. It has to be true. Oh, good point. <laughs> that um, Israel uh-huh. are working on airport scanners, right? Mm-hmm. That it's it's an armored thing you go inside, and it doesn't scan you. There's no nude. There's no radiation. Yeah. What it does is it basically lets out radio or whatever uh-huh. that will detonate explosive devices. Oh, man. <laughs> so it basically puts you in like those things that the bomb squads wrap a package yes. in? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So they're basically like, eh. Nice. Yeah. Oh, when's the movie of that come oh, out? Oh, man. Like I said, I don't know if it's true, <laughs> but oh. if it is. Hurt Locker 2. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> More Boom, starring Jason Statham. Yeah, yeah. nailed it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and Arnold Schwarzenegger coming back from the future. Uh, man, why not? <laughs> <laughs> and Tyler Perry dresses Medea. <laughs> Who gets detonated? Yeah, so please let her have an IED on her. Winner! All righty. <clears throat> I saw this story on Colbert the other night, and then I saw it on the Huffington Post. Diggity, someone else sent it in, and this is the greatest invention ever. I have not seen it yet. So I don't know how you fresh to haven't. Me. Well, I've seen it, but right. I haven't clicked on it. How about that? Taco Copter aims to deliver tacos using unmanned drone helicopters. Awesome. Greatest fucking thing ever, because it starts with tacos, but it can be anything. It could be euros, pizza, hot dogs. Children, whatever you need delivered. Fair enough. Right? <laughs> Children. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Internet's going wild for Taco Copter, perhaps in, in the next great startup out of Silicon Valley, which boasts a business plan that combines four of the most prominent touchstones of modern America, tacos, helicopters, robots, and laziness. <laughs> yeah, they are correct, actually. <laughs> yep. You order using your smartphone, it uses your GPS location. Your order and your location are transmitted to the an unmanned uh, drone helicopter, and the taco copter is then sent out with your food to find you and deliver your tacos wherever <laughs> you're standing. A creepy. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you pay online, so the tacos are simply dropped at your feet by the helicopter, and then it flies back to the restaurant. <laughs> that is awesome, though. It's the greatest fucking thing ever. It is pretty good. The science. That's it, dude. It's over. And I thought Roomba was cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, that's why I said. Fuck Roomba. This is where, its robot ass. This is where science money should be spent. Hell yes. <laughs> This is a good use of drones. So, along with this, the site of the week is tacocopter.com. <laughs> is this actually in business? Yes. Oh, I thought this was like a... A like parody? A, no, no, no. Oh. I thought this was like a, hey, we're going to work on this. No, no. It's actually is... functional no, right now? I, I don't know if it's functional yet, but the site is right there. It's on a private beta right now. Oh. Ah, right. But, yes. That's so, there it is. Visit tacocopter.com. How expensive are the tacos? Tacocopter.com. They got to be expensive. Because, I mean, if the, if they have a drone flying them to you, it yeah. can't be cheap. Yeah, it can't be like 59 cent tacos. Yeah. <laughs> well, the other question is what quality are they and how do they keep them warm? How do they keep them from not, you know. Is there any more info on this? I don't know. I know I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated. Well, they're right? hiring. Well, that's and it says on the East Coast, try lobster copter. <laughs> is this really real? I don't know. There's actually, I was going to get to that. There's actually quite a bit going around that this may be a hoax. Well, I'm going to go to Snopes. All, all I have to say is, <laughs> See if, they got anything if, this is if this is not real, I, I, um, might, I might have to kill myself. Uh, no, 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 no. The internets can't that lie to means, us like that. That just means we do a taco copter. Oh, all right. You know? I, we're not smart enough to do taco copter. And I'm not good enough piloting these helicopters. <laughs> good point. I'll, you, you've seen me well, flying we Battlefield. Need Garrett. We need Garrett okay. back here. He I was going to say, dude, you've seen me flying Battlefield. I'm putting it right into the ground. Fair enough. I'm like a drunk person. I got I, I'm, I'm Snopes. Snopes in this shit. Yeah. That's pretty. We, that's right. We have to try to break this one way or the other right now. Like I said, as soon as Colbert started talking about it the other night, I, 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 I just immediately was in awe. Because I was like, how, how did this not exist sooner? Because these drone choppers have been around forever. Now, the other problem that Colbert said, and I didn't see in this article, is that the, uh, was it the FAA or whatever? Right. Is basically putting the kibosh on it because you can't. Um, like interfere with airspace? Or <clears throat> yeah, especially when it's un, uh, it's uncharted. Like it's not, you know, like if a flight is going from point A to point B, the right. FAA knows about it in advance. 
Whereas this, if I call in for my taco right now, right, it they are not going to have enough of a There's notice. Nothing on Snopes yet for taco copter. We'll have to keep it. God, yeah. see, I don't know. I want to believe. I know, it. right? Like, when I see lobster cops, all right, look on here's, the East Coast. Here's the poster. If they didn't own the image and everything, I would make right now, and it would be a spoof on the one that uh, Fox Mulder has up that says "I want to believe" with taco copter on it. I agree. Instead of a UFO, <laughs> I do want to believe. <laughs> I know, right? I want it. I want to believe, and I want to believe that it's close to us, even though it isn't. It's in California. I, just, I don't know. I, something tells me bullshit. I know, right? Just because it's limited beta, lobster copter on the East Coast. I'm just feeling like it's bullshit. They, they do have a T-shirt. I, it says I, I, and it shows. See, I, and it instead of love, it has the taco the copter. Helicopter. And it I, says I, tacos. I copter helicopter. Except that you know. Shirts of twenty six dollars, which sorry folks, that's a little pricey. That shirt was ten bucks. I'd own one. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm. It's tough, right? Yeah, I know. For now, all we can do is believe. Yeah, exactly. I will have faith that Taco Copter is real, just like George Michael's. Faith. Yep, that's my interpretation. That's, that's terrible, time. actually. But... Uh, but, but. Right, well, let's get to. I'm beating off in this thing. Wow, dude. What? Nothing. I'm just you're just you're just a mess over there with the singing this week. Yeah. That'll that's what a day off of work will do. I know. I'm Get you all, all fresh as a daisy. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I goddamn change some Earl and yeah. look at me. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do. There's no top five this week in case you didn't notice because uh, we're lazy and forgot. And, eh, you know, we gotta mix it up. We yeah. can't do top five every week. We'll bring top five back probably next week. Or will we? Oh! Oh, shit. Speaking of, it. as we've done a few already, we, uh, you know, I would like to openly uh, uh, solicit more top five. Yeah, send in your top five ideas. Or anything. Please feel free to send us whatever you got. Um, well, Remember, we'll go ahead and... I'll, it is National Cleavage Day. It is. <laughs> if you're a man, please don't send us pictures oh, unless it's of I don't want to see no ball cleavage. cleavage. I don't want to see man cleavage either, oh. just fucking pushing them together. <laughs> yeah. You know? uh, not unless it's hairy. No. Uh, anyways. <laughs> uh, even then. <laughs> so uh, we're going to bring back the... Uh, let's see. What do we call it? Oh, wait. You have to do the intro to it. Do I? Yeah. Because you said the term for man we're fucking this all up yeah, it's autocorrect are. theater oh that's right Remember? all right yeah. you mean another <laughs> presentation of autocorrect theater thank you jeeves i forgot all about that <laughs> <laughs> old ted jeeves yes <laughs> <Rocking> yeah. <the show. laughs> and if you're unfamiliar with what we do here we pull up some stuff from damnyouautocorrect.com and have fun with it and we have some fun with it all right brian you want to be great or green what do we do? Or I guess right or left. How about that? Uh, yeah. Because some of them are different colors. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll be left because I think that's what I did before. All right. And it's easier for me to do that. Good. Uh, the first one, the title of this one is Kids for Dinner. Delicious. Ahem. Action. No. If you and your girlfriend want to come over for dinner, be here at six. I'm growing up some baby black kids. <laughs> Going to be delicious. <laughs> uh, as tempting as it sounds, we both have to work till 11. Yeah, I meant baby back ribs and more for me. <laughs> well, oh, well. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't say <laughs> fail. No, see, I always read those out, remember? I think I'm gonna you start, don't have to. It's I whatever think I'm going to start doing what they are. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> All right. Um, this one is called. Nah, that gives way to punchline. You're right. All right. <laughs> I look forward all day to... Bl- <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> yeah, re- Take two. Yeah. I, I look forward to the day when I'm not blowing minors. Minors? Sexy. My nose, I swear. Dang, you ought to... Dang, what a scumbag. Dang, you ought to correct frowny face. That's what they all say, creepy sad winky. <laughs> <laughs> My nose, I've got a cold. Promise! <laughs> that exclamation point. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> uh, this one is just a... Uh, what the hell? <laughs> this was actually just a post on uh, Chili's page. It was Chili's Yokota is posted there. This is posted by Chili's, which <laughs> apparently has now been taken down. Due to some fryer issues, Chili's is only able to serve a limited amount of fried items. Items include, or items available, boneless buffalo wings, sweet chili glazed wings, chips, egg rolls, french fries, onion strings, kids' corn dogs, 
Sorry for any incontinence this may cause. <laughs> that would be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> this fried food's so good, I gotta piss myself. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta compose myself for this one. I gotta bust out my singing voice. La 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 la. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> yep. Na 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 breast milk. Oh my god, Batman! Oh my god! Oh my god! L o l o l o l o l o l o l o. What the fuck? Auto correct for the win. Laughing my fucking ass off. Awesome. <laughs> and last but not least on auto correct theater. I'm <laughs> not. Uh, since I can't read really first bubble, I'll go up the second bubble. All right. Okay, smiley face. Okay, Regan isn't going to the movies, but she does want to play games. Okay, then I'll just see y'all at Money Trays. Monistat, monkey tits, holy shut, moderates. Man, that's a mess. That is a mess. That is a person. You'd think after the first time you fuck up. You know, like generally with me, like when I realize that I've typed in and it's changed something for me, yes. I'm very careful the second time. Not when you get monkey tits popping up. <laughs> that's true. Or Monistat, apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> like vaginal thingamjiggers, monkey tits. <laughs> That that just looks like somebody with Tourette's was typing up on there. <laughs> they probably were. Yeah, it's probably. All that twitching, you know? Yeah, it's hard speaking to of Tourette's, <laughs> fuck cunt shit, bottom <laughs> dick. <laughs> Word. Uh, yep, there were lots of them there. They certainly were. Well, look at that. It's time for us to go. Already? Yep, I'm already, uh, I'm changing into my, uh, my sweater and my comfortable <laughs> shoes and... Nice. You know, our time in make-believe land has come to an end. Mm, fair enough. So, as Mr. Rogers would say, have a beer, you'll be fine. And check us out on Facebook and podgodnetwork.com. Pod gods. Pod no gods. Problem. Sorry, I think of us as the pod god himself. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> we are the, the holy trinity yeah. right here. <laughs> Wait, who's the third one? Us. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, me, and us. Yeah. <laughs> See you next week, chaps. <laughs>